drink. Charles Poe, the last starting position today. Grab some weight, keep them nearby. Doesn't matter if they're big, small. You can, if you have both, you can swap between the two. And Charles Poe, I might get your knees nice and wide, your feet together, sliding your arms forward and dropping your chest down between the shoulders. Putting your fingers crawling forward, getting that full stretch. I want you to get a full stretch down the sides of your back, which are your lats. So I want you to, when you claw your fingers forward, the more you'll feel that stretch. Take a breath in, lift up onto the fingertips, look forward and stretch through the body, reaching, putting your shoulders back down towards the bottom. And then melt down, slide the fingers further, pin your bottom into the floor. Now, if this is too much for your knees and hips, lift your bottom and move into a cat stretch then release it slightly. So inhale, look up, lift and lengthen, and just bring yourself up into your hands and knees. Lift your eye gaze, lift your bottom, stretch through the hole. So when you, when you let your back dip, let your abs kind of just, um, stretch out, feel them kind of doming, and then curl up the in, and scoop the belly in, feel the tummy doing the absolute opposite. Inhale to pause, exhale, go again. I gaze up, awesome up, shoulders pull back. Take a long deep breath in, exhale, curl up. And then bring yourself back to neutral. Grab your weight. We're going to immediately go into warming up these arms. Might be a lower weight on this one. This is good for this one. Right, we're going to start off some rotations. The second exercise is good to start. Left hand underneath the chest. So remember, this is a warm up. So if you want to start just doing a few of these without weight, then do a few of these about weight. You're lifting up towards the sky, squeezing up through the shoulder blades. You're looking down, you're feeding under, and you're hovering the weight. So the weight doesn't come to the floor on that feed under. So you scoop up, squeeze, and hover under to come down. Lift. So if you're doing that weight, maybe grab a weight now, take it slowly. Feed it through. We're only going to do four more here. Make sure you keep your soft elbow and you're squeezing up through that shoulder blade and then feeling the weight. Now, when you've done your last one, I want you to feed it under and pause, reach, take a breath in, exhale, come all the way up, lift all the way up to the sky and reach in that twist. Look up, squeeze the belly, pull the shoulder blade, Reach, get that full line running through the arm. And then inhale, exhale, scoop it under. And take a quick stretch here, dropping the head to the floor, shoulders to the floor, reaching through, opening out the shoulder blade. Take your opposite arm, your left arm up, and twist it up towards the sky. Turn the face up towards the fingers. Reach up, one more little squeeze. So when you're lifting your arm up, guys, turn your palm the same direction as mine. <laughs> so your hand... Faces the window. Yeah. And then drop the hand down. Take your arm out from underneath. Put the weight down. Set yourself up neutral position. So same arm and leg. Then, uh, sorry, same opposite arms and legs. We're going to reach up. As you pull your knee in, swing your arm and squeeze it behind you. Then lengthen away and exhale, squeeze it back. Let it wait. Now, Think about shoulder, shoulder mobilization. The reason I got, I'm going for a lighter weight is because my shoulder can go further with a lighter weight, which is more important. And then I can pull back and squeeze it to its maximum behind. Give me four more. Last two, reach it. Last one. Okay, so we bring the arm back, we lift the arm, we drop the knee, 
Keep the upper arm still and then press into triceps. So don't let the shoulder collapse. Don't let your elbow drop lower than the rib cage. Just quick presses back. Now start going a bit faster, but keep the control. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep your backs flat. Three, two, and release. Good. Tuck your toes under. Slide yourself back. Sit into your heels. Find your toes. So feel that little stretch. I might help you guys out with the strap. Okay, so you need it. I want you to take your right hand and slide it up the back. Then you swing your left arm up and interlace those fingers. So if you can't interlace those fingers, grab a strap or a band and walk your right hand up. No, no, take your other. Hold that first. Not that one yet. Got it? Got it. Now, now lift your elbows up high. Open your chest. Find a place that's really not nice. Yeah. Good. Gym right now. Yeah. Elbows to the sky. <laughs> <laughs> left, left elbows up to the sky. Chest elevated. So that should be a nasty little pain in the right side of your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Not your right shoulder. Stay your heels if you can. You should if I can. Well, you can. Take a long deep breath in and stretch. Get that left elbow up to the sky. Slide your right hand higher up that back. And then first of all, release the top arm. Then free the lower arm. Give it a little shake. And it's happy as anything. Happy knees. Knees wide. Grab the weight with the left arm, right hand to the floor. So try and get a little bit more central, most below the chest. Add on, and we're going to come up. So first of all, if you didn't use a weight the other side, don't use a weight this side. Just do five or six, just rotating. Remember, you are squeezing the abs, turning the whole upper body, and then feeding it under. And then when you're ready, you can grab it. Don't use any form of momentum or swinging motion. Slowly up, 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 squeeze and turn. Just do three more for me. Two. Slightly warm it up. Now, lift and hold. Now, reach up, twist, squeeze the belly. Squeeze your shoulder blade, look up towards the sky, push to the floor. Take a nice long deep breath in. Exhale, swing it under, and let's take it all the way through and stretch off. Once you reach as far as you can, open your right arm to the sky, palm facing towards the wall this time. So your eye gaze is where your palm faces basically. Just reach and twist and look up. If your arm is twisted, turn your palm back to where it's meant to be. And then slowly release the hands down, release the weight, come through. So I'm going to stop my weight there for the lighter one. I'm going to go on to the other side. Knees on the hips, hands on the shoulders. When you're ready, right leg, left arm reaches. We pull the knee into a hover and we squeeze that arm all the way back. Remember to use your breath, yeah? So slowly, squeeze it in to the back. Four more. Last two. Last one, we reach the arm all the way back, lower the knee, pin the elbow into the waistline and kick back into those triceps. Come on, press, 
press, press, don't let the elbows drop. Faster, faster, eight, seven, six, flatten your spine, four, three, two, and one, release. Tuck your toes under, sit back into your heels. Once you're there, take your left hand, slide it up the back, take your right arm over, and then lift up. So your right elbow is up to the sky, pull back to the left shoulder, lift the chest. So if you're using the band, there we go, and then lift. I've got it. Absolutely fine and peachy. I used to be able to do this before. What? This place. Colin Jordan. There we go. No, I'm not one. Must be you've got, got too muscular in the chest or that. that that'll be it, yeah. That is me and the frozen shoulder. No the reason. Okay, let's lift that elbow a little bit higher. Lift the chest a little bit more. Get a little bit deeper in that stretch. Maybe slide that left hand a little bit higher up the back. Right hand. Left hand. Both hands. You do the right side. They were doing the side, they're doing the right side, they're doing the wrong side. So you guys. Can stay there for another couple of breaths. He's out there for a good 30 seconds. This one's a lot of places. Come on, lift that elbow, lift that elbow. That's better. Okay, let's lift that chest a little bit higher. Good, nice, isn't it? And then at the left arm, and then just give a little shaggy. And then come back. So hands and knees, and then release feet. Sometimes it's quite nice, first little plank on your toes like that. Give it a try. Keep release. Right, onto your hands and knees. Press down into the front of your feet like this. John. And come up there. Plant a flexion plank. So I'm right on the very tops of my feet. Squeeze up through the abs and hold. Find it extremely pleasant. Oh, it's a nice little stretch, and then sit your bottom down. Not making these my top toe. Oh, oh wait, let's bring your weight to the front. Where did you grab one? Breathe when I breathe it in. So we're going to work one side at a time. Opposite arm to leg. Actually, if we can. Two here, up into the weight. So we lift left leg, right arm. As you extend the arm, see if you can stay in that hover. So my toes drop almost to the floor, my arm stays there. You pull back up, you release. Now, this is virtually impossible with more than about two kilos. Yeah. Did I say bend your knee? No, I wasn't bending my knee. So if you can do this without touching your weight to the floor, amazing shoulder strength. If you're using a really heavy weight, drop it and pull back up. Three more that side. So A point, if you keep your legs down, just work equally. Last one. And then knees straight over to your side. Give it easier this side. Lift. You know what's coming next, don't you? Double arm, double legs. Which may not have to use three kilo. Three more. Last two, last one. So let go of the weights, the forehead to the hands, let your shoulder blades fall apart. Always wriggle the hips. Okay, so 
Wrap up weights. Oh gosh, weights are optional. Both legs, both arms working together. Scoot the belly in. Fire off your buttocks. We lift. Oh, we bring everything up. And if you can squeeze your legs, even better. And release it down for one. We're doing eight. And up. Three. Four. And five. Three more to do. Let's do this. Come on. Big strength. Squeeze the legs together. Last two. Do we get those elbows even deeper? Pull back, get them touching behind your back. And release. Ah, turn your head to one direction. Let everything fall into the ground. Turn your head the other direction. And then bring your weight underneath your shoulders. Elbow to the sky, push yourself up and slide back into child's pose. Now, I want you to keep your hands, rest on top of the weights like that. So you've taken the grip off, you keep them in exactly the same position as mine, and you just settle down. Enjoy that little stretch. Maybe just sway side to side through the arm. So we're going to work into the triceps. So we're going to do a roll through the spine. Now take your hands into the waist and then lower down and then power back up and then curve the spine, slide your hand flat and reach. As you come forward, take a grip of the weight, drop down, tricep, come all the way up, curve back. If you're feeling very strong, you want to do it your toes, you can, but if you do it your toes, please don't leave your bottom to drop before your chest. If you want to challenge a little bit more, you might want to do a bit more to one side, extend the leg, drop, power up, turn the knee, slide it back. Nice. Lovely, lovely. Make it graceful, smooth. Right. You can stick with both knees on the floor. Just give me four more. Last two. One more, guys. Okay, let's see if we can pause and pulse this one. Stay with me. Let's go. Five. Hips up. Hips up. Hips up. Chest down. Three. Two. Elbows in. And release. Release the hands. Release the fingers. Melt the head and chest to the floor. Bring yourself up and down the knees. Put more weight to the side of your mat. Take your feet wide, come into plank. Okay, take it. Feed it through. Feed it the other way. Pause. Pull one knee towards the left elbow, right knee towards the other side. <laughs> Do that again. The opposite knee to opposite elbow, and then feet under. One. Two, let's go four. Three, four. Four twisted mountain climbers. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Options between your knees. So you're in a half plank, so get on your knees, get your bottom low enough so that you feel the core working. And then instead of doing crossovers, you can just reach one leg out, drop, 
reach one leg up, drop four times. That's your slightly easier option. Two more rounds. Good. Hips shouldn't be wobbling. So you're coming up to the last round. Finish that last crossover mountain climb up. You can drop back to drop down to your elbows and curve. Andre, let your abs drop, lift your bottom, lift your chin. And then find your neutral position. Take your weight, starting behind the back of the right knee. Okay, pull your calf in towards your hamstring to activate your hamstring a little bit more. Hop that knee and then just simply swing the leg up and back down. Without rotating your hip out to the side. Right, two more. Point your next one up. Squeeze the butt just to lift another inch. Pulse right at the very top. Tiny little movements. Keep going, keep going, keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release. Reef you to the floor. Come up with your hand. Keep a firm grip of that weight and slide the left leg to extension. Okay, here's the challenge for you. Core on tight, at flat, hold that knee, lift it, tap it down, lift it, tap it down. Don't let your hips move at all. Stabilization. Eight, nine, Hold the tent up, squeeze the butt, pull the weight in, lengthen up through the body. Eight, seven, six, come on, hips down a little bit lower. Three, two, and relax. Take that weight out from behind the knee. Take the knee forward to sit into pigeon. Stretch it up again. So pigeon, my left hip is almost touching my heel on that right side. My right heel. Take the knee a little bit further to the right if you can. Slide your left leg a little bit further back. And take your heel up towards your bottom. Take your left hand around, catch the inside of your foot, drive the heel in towards the bottom, and then turn your hips and shoulders forward. Lift your chest high. And once you've got that strong stretch in the quad, if you want to go back down, you can. Just stay here. Our quad. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> now release that thigh, stay in your pigeon, and get as deep as you can into the buttock stretch. Make sure you're relaxing through the shoulders or carrying any tension in that area. Now you're going to fall into the right buttock. You're going to swing your leg, left leg around until you're sitting on your bottom like this. Grab a block or a mat if you need to now so that you elevate it a little bit more. Turn towards the left leg, reach up through the right arm, catch the foot. So you've all got bands. Bands. You can't match. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. So I want you to have a firm grip into the foot. 
Use the band doubled up if you need to. Your right arm is your dominant arm. Your right shoulder drops, your right arm bend, and you sink as far as you can possibly go. Keep your foot parallel with your hips so you're not rotating in or out, and your leg is out. Both legs are out to a big B. As wide as you can go. Right, you've got um, hypermobility in your knee, so to keep your knees slightly soft. Slightly soft. Yeah. You. Yeah. yeah. I've never had these hands for ages. If you've got hypermobility in your knee joint, keep it soft, take it wider. Don't ever extend that knee fully, and now drive your chest as low as you can go. Your right shoulder should be further forward than your left. So therefore, hold your band with your right hand in front of your left hand. Go deep into the stretch. Two more breaths in. And carefully release. Bend your left leg, slide your left foot arm inside, hand on the knee, lift and let and open out. Take a side bend and reach inside the way. Twist. Get the arm as high as you can go. Extend it, turn, eye gaze to the sky, reach. And as you push that arm further over to the left, push your right hip further down into the floor. And then carefully release the arm, roll it back up. Take that leg in front of you, and then take that leg and lift up to it. Take your waist and hold it onto your chest, sit up tall. Roll slowly down. Take your arms to the sky. Now I'm going to take hold of my weight with my right hand, so my right knee is still bent. And you're going, to, you're going to come up, lift, feed it through, drop it down. Come up, feed it back through, drop it down. So feed it one way, feed it the other way. Now, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, keep the leg up the whole time at tabletop, feed it. And if you want more of a challenge, keep it straight the whole time. Just take it around. And back around. Four. Three. Two. And one, drop your arms to the floor, keep that leg up. Hold the foot to the sky, slide your hand on back to the side, catch it, give it a quick hamstring stretch. Lift your left leg into a hover, push your soles of your feet, lift your head and shoulders up towards that leg, release and pop your hand. So no weight needed here, just squeeze up and take your shoulders off the floor up the ground. Lengthen those knees, make sure the left leg is almost brushing the ground. Squeeze your ribcage, your hips, and then pump faster, 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 faster. Let's do this. Come on. Breathe, reach. 10, 9, 8, lift higher. 6, 5, reach higher, reach further. 2, and release. Bend the knee, pop the foot on the ground. Arms down by your side. side, right thigh engaged, lift up into a bridge. So my left leg is still on the ground, I'm pointing my toes on my left leg, swing your left leg up, tap the heel back down for one, up, tap down for two. Get to do lots of butt squeeze in that right side. Try and keep your hips level. If you feel like your hips are dropping, then reduce your range to thigh height. Eight, nine, last one, and ten. Drop the bottom, slide both legs straight, and take your fingers to the full body stretch. Okay. 
and then release your arms back down by your side. Slide your left foot in underneath the hip. Take a breath in, exhale, lift your hips up into the bridge, put your toes on the right leg. And then when you're ready, you begin to lift that leg up to the sky and tap it down to the floor. So again, it's very important that you've got lots of strength working in that left side. Seven, three more. Eight, hips a little bit higher. Nine, last one. And ten, drop the heel, drop the leg, drop the bottom. Inhale, exhale, extend your legs to the sky. Slide your hand around the back of the thigh, hold the stretch. Use your elbows to drive the thigh in, knees raised. Then begin to hover your right leg, lift your head and shoulders, release your arm, hug it up. So focus on both extended legs, pull your shoulders up even further, draw your ribcage down towards your hips, pump those arms, let's go, reach your fingers forward, look to the toes, let's hover. 10, 9, go further, straighten your legs more, hover your right leg a little bit more. 5, 4, reach, 2, and then carefully drop it down. Bend the knee, pop the foot to the ground. Grab your weight. So you start above the shoulders in your left hand. Take a breath in, lift up. Come up, feed it, drop it down. Come up, feed it. A little bit more, keep the leg at tabletop and just feed it onto like that. Take your time, remember time under tension, Anthony. He tries to rush everything. And if you want more of a challenge, straighten that leg to the side and keep it straight. Six more. All the way up into your bottom. Last three. One more. And then bend your knee, foot to the floor, release your arm. Slide the other leg in. Bring your knees into your chest, give a little hug. Slide your hands around the back of the thigh and roll yourself up. So if you're using your block from before, slide it under, take your left knee foot in, your right leg extends out to the side this time. We're going to reverse those three stretches. Bend the knee and get your right arm inside the leg. Left hand into the knee, open out, look up, then come over into that side bend that reach. So as you reach over to the right, push down into the left buttock, get the elbow extended, the palm facing down towards the floor, get it right across the ear and turn and twist even deeper into this. Go a little bit further, you can slide the leg away, Tommy you should be able to spread your toes with your left hand. You are. <laughs> <laughs> and then carefully release up. Straighten that leg, turn your body towards that leg. Right hand here, left to left, lift, 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 Okay, so your left arm is your dominant arm, so bend the left elbow, drop the left shoulder, and maybe twist a little bit more to the right. Drop your eye gaze and just breathe. Breathe. 
Three more breaths here. When you're ready, just release it up. Roll it up. This leg stays here. Remove blocks. Swing your leg all the way around and bring yourself into the chair. So, so wiggle your heel until it sits underneath your right hip bone and then lift your chest as high as you can go. So try and get your body equal on both sides. Then bend the heel towards the bottom, swing your right hand around, catch the inside of the foot, drive the heel down, and then pull your hip back to the center again. And then if you wish, you can drop that left elbow. And then when you're ready to release that horrible stretch, release it and then set it down into your pigeon and take a really good 30 seconds or so to rest here. And then you're going to just let yourself collapse into that left hip. Swing the legs around again and bring the soles and feet together and then push them forward. Take your forearm underneath your right leg, forearm underneath your left leg, pin your forearm to the floor. Use the strength of your legs to do so and then pull your back into a C curve as if you're pulling away from your feet. But trap your arms to create that stretch. I gaze down and get as deep as you can into that seat up, seat up. So bring your feet much further forward. More, 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 more. Now get under. Ease it off slightly, let your legs release. Then trap them again and go again into that curve. Come on, deepen that curve. Get your whole vertebrae. Deep into your shoulder blades, push your legs forcefully down to those forearms and then try and free yourself. And then release it up again. Just lift up, take your hands behind you, bring your feet a little bit closer in, fingertips pressing behind you, and lift up into a, an open knee bridge. Chest up, shoulders back. Huh? I don't like it. Because it has one looks. Okay. Um, breath, turn the complete opposite way. Do it again. Do it again. Oh. It's not because I'm maintaining my dignity. That's <laughs> Chest up, shoulders back, squeeze the butt, lift, hold it, five, four, higher, two, and one. And then when you just let your legs come forward, slide in the backs of your hands. And lightly push down this back to the hands. And do you want more? Slide them further forward. It's a counter stretch to the, 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 the position you were just in. This itself is nasty. Nice for forearms. We do a lot of body part, like a lot of um, upright rows. It's a very nice way to release the wrist and forearm. And then bring yourself into a couple of legs. Lift up to roll. Arms forward, take a little deep breath in, exhale all the way to the sky. Turn your arms up, lift up one more time. And as always, give some tap. Thank you.